Paul Farbrace, it's four defeats in a row. It's uh, getting a slightly depressing run at the moment. Yeah, it's um, it, it, it's a run of games that show that we've got an awful lot of work to do as a team. Um, you know, I, I said to you last week that I did, uh, um, in, in very blunt terms, share my views on where we're at as a team. Um, and, and since then, you know, there's no point having raised voices in the changing room at the end of a game because we, we know we've got an awful lot of work to do. Um, you know, I said at uh, the Aegeus Bowl the other night, we got taught a lesson in how to play the game in every aspect of the game, batting, bowling and fielding. Um, and tonight, I guess, is another one of those lessons. That, you know, we talk about wanting to be aggressive and positive in the way that we play, but we're not. You know, we're not laying a glove on the opposition. You know, we're... You know, we're meandering to a score without any real purpose. Um, and it's quite clear that, you know, our batters have got a lot of work to do. And that's, you know, that's on me as much as it is the team. Because, you know, I'm my job is to, you know, with the other coaches, my job is to improve players. That's what coaching's about. Um, improve team performance. And at the moment, we're not doing that. So, you know, it's as much on me as it is on the players. And, you know, and it's not... It's not a case of me, you know, saying to players, you've got to get better. I include myself in that. You know, I, I've still got a lot of learning to do. And, you know, I, I want to learn and get better every day. I want to help this team get better every day. We've got a very honest group of people who work exceptionally hard. Um, we've got talent. What we're not doing at the moment is harnessing that talent into a team performance. And that's, that's quite frustrating because, you know, I know that people are working hard. I know that people are putting the effort in. So I, I can't accuse them of not trying or not putting effort in. But simply, it's not good enough what we're doing. And that, that's all of us. You know, as I say, I, I take that on myself. You know, I, I, it'll be another night of uh, laying awake till 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning, um, staring at the ceiling and thinking about how we can improve things. What can I say? What can I do? What can I do in practice? What can I do in team meetings? You know, so it, as I say, it's, this isn't just on the players. This is on this is on me, and I, I you know, I take full responsibility. Um, and so, it, I know I've got a lot of work to do. The team have got a lot of work to do, and we've got to work hard together um, to start winning games of cricket. Because I'm not going to give up on this tournament and just say, "Oh well, it's gone now. Let's focus on Championship cricket." Because, you know, it, every game that we play is an opportunity to learn and get better. Every practice session is a chance to learn and get better, and we've got to keep doing that. And what we can't do is just throw the towel in or make excuses because we're not going to make excuses. We we have to accept that we're we're not playing well enough. We're being outplayed comfortably, um, and that's not good enough from, from all of our points. Is it the case that perhaps you haven't got the personnel to compete in the T20 this year, Paul, or do you believe the squad of players can compete? No, I, I, I don't think we're the best team in the tournament when you just, you know, you look at our, our players compared to other teams, but that doesn't mean to say that, um, you know, T, T20 is a game that anyone can beat anyone, and it only needs... You know, a couple of players in your team to have a fantastic night, and you know the game can go your way. But at the moment, we're not doing that. We're either individually or as a team, we're not competing, and that that's that's the hardest bit for me is is the lack of competition. Again, we've been beaten with five overs to spare tonight, and that's that's really hard to take. And I don't care how good Essex are, um, we're not actually making teams work hard to beat us, and that that's the bit that you know is really really hard to take, and that that's the bit that I. I'm struggling with at the moment, um, but that, as I say, it doesn't mean that I'm going to give up and you know start chucking everything on the players' laps because it's not. It's, it's all of us. To, we're all in this together, um, and we know we've got a lot of work to do. Um, and all we can do is keep working hard to try and do something about it. Next up, Lords, home of cricket. I mean, if it's uh, it's incentive to go there on, on Wednesday night, Thursday night, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, look, every every game, I keep saying that. You know, wouldn't it be great to come to Chelmsford tonight, Tuesday night? What a great place to go and silence the home crowd and you know win there. And and you know that that. That will be a lie, and I'll try out for Thursday night. You know, Lords home of cricket. You know, come on, let's turn up and give it a red hot go. And that's, you know, we're going into games with the right attitude. But it's almost you can see that as soon as we lose a wicket or two, you almost get the sense running through the team of here we go again. And that that's a really tough place for any sporting team to be when you get that here we go again feeling. And that's something we've got to try and snap out of. Um, and it might mean that we have to change our team for Thursday, not because necessarily you know one or two people deserve to be left out. Because at the moment, you know, you could point the 
the selection finger at a few and say, are you doing everything that you could be to stay in our team? And it might be that we have to freshen our team up to try and get the team going with a couple of fresh faces, a couple of fresh um, ways of playing might be that we, we have to go down that approach. Um, but as I say, that, that would be harder when ever gets left out because, you know, you, you could make a case for a few being left out. And, and, you know, again, I'm not being negative or defeatist, but we, we have got to play and we've got to find a way to compete in games. And at the moment, that, that's the bit that I can take losing. I'm not a good loser, but I can take losing if I feel that the team really are competing and are getting stuck in. But at the moment, we're just not laying a glove on the opposition, and that's quite tough to take. Um, just a couple of other things. <clears throat> Excuse me, a couple of absentees at the moment. Um, Ali Orr, we know, injured his knee at the O. Any news on how bad that injury is, Paul? He's due to see a specialist this week, and I think he sees a specialist tomorrow. Um, and we'll get a good idea. But, you know, I expect it to be a case of um, quite a few weeks before we see Ali back playing in the team, which is a great shame because, you know, it, he would be, you know, at the top of our order, the way that he plays, he would actually give us some, you know, impetus at the top of the order to get stuck in and play some shots. And, you know, we're, we're, we're missing him greatly at the moment, which is a great shame for him and it's a great shame for us. Another player we haven't seen anything of is Delray Rawlings. What, what's the situation with Delray, Paul? So Delray went home to Bermuda about three weeks ago, just before the tournament started. Um, and he asked for some time away from the game, which we gave him. Um, and we've been supporting him with that. We've been liaising with him on quite a regular basis and with his agent in England. Um, and, and, you know, at some point, um, we'll be able to update you as to, uh, to where that's got to.